One year since the Islamic State overran much of northern Iraq, ISIS has brutalized, raped and murdered thousands. We have shared many, many of the horror stories, but we have also learned of one of the little Christian uh, Christians who have overcome, and her story has inspired us all. Gary Lane traveled to Iraq and brings us her story. For Iraq, the summer of 2014 was like no other. A militant Muslim group known as the Islamic State overran the city of Mosul and nearby villages. Thousands were killed or kidnapped, and more than a million people fled into Iraqi Kurdistan. Over the last year, we brought you many reports about Christians who have been forced from their homes because of ISIS right here in Iraq. But there's one little girl whose story went viral, and we thought we'd introduce you to her once again. Late last year, the world was amazed to hear a young Christian named Maryam tell a reporter she forgives ISIS. Tens of thousands of people viewed her comments on the internet. I recently caught up with the 11 year old and her younger sister Zamarad as they returned from school. Their family recently moved into a small two-bedroom trailer in a community of displaced Christians in Erbil. So why is Miriam unafraid of ISIS? And why does she forgive the jihadists who drove her from her home in Karakosh? In the Bible, Jesus said to us, don't be afraid. I am with you. And also he said, forgive others, no matter who they are hating you. You have to forgive them. Jesus is my father and he is my creator. I have no one else better than him. When ISIS drove us out of our home, his hand was on us and he saved us. And when Miriam grows up, she wants to join Doctors Without Borders. There are people everywhere who need treatment, but they cannot get it because they don't have enough money to go to the doctor. And the doctors aren't usually available. Jesus said, you've been given freely, so you should give freely. This is why we should love them and provide treatment. Miriam says she cherishes the Bible because it is God's love story to humanity. The only story in the Bible is the story of the resurrection of Christ Jesus the Lord, because through that story, we can have hope. And this young Christian says when she prays, it isn't for a bigger home or more possessions. When I pray, I pray that God might help us to go back home, and also that the peace of God might come all over Iraq, and also may God forgive ISIS. So what is the source of Miriam's unshakable faith and the words of wisdom beyond her years? The words I am speaking to you are not coming from a random place. They are coming from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave me the words to tell you. Miriam's father, Walid is proud his daughter became an internet sensation. Uh, I'm thinking God uh, gave me a nice daughter to separate the word of Jesus to the, all the world through the media, not because to famous her, but to give the regard of God to the, all the people and the peace. Miriam and Zomorod love singing hymns. Ya Rabu Akrubu. Their mother Alice taught them the words to Christian songs. Alice told me, it seems like the Holy Spirit put in their hearts to love these songs and dedicate this part of their personality to love God and praise God. So they admire this way of worshiping. And finally, Miriam advises Christian children in the United States and elsewhere to love God and share their faith with friends. They don't need to be frightened. And also, things that happen in their lives, they should learn from us and our lives. This should not be to get something or to get glory for ourselves. It is for the sake of God because God lives. And we want to do everything for the glory of God and also for exalting God in our lives. Gary Lane, CBN News, Erbil, Iraq.